Welcome back to the Daily Dose of Dopamine with Robert Cochran, Susan Scarlett, and Margo Sack, who's been with us as long as I've been with you. And uh, wow, we have both um, come, come a long way personally in terms of personal growth. Would you like to continue where you were in the last dose and um, what I was saying in the last dose is that uh, through, you know, the improv group, the Jam for Joy, and, and the writing component that we did with uh, day one, I've really been able to find my voice and to um, kind of articulate what it is that I'm looking for. What are my goals? What are my, you know... Um, what do I bring to the table is in there too. You know, yes. I think that I have never really been able to speak up. I wouldn't have this kind of conversation in such a relaxed manner before. I'd be very... Um, Much less recorded and going on. Right, 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 right. So I mean, that says a lot. Wow. Um, yeah, That's yeah, so I beautiful. never would have done this. That's and so to beautiful. go with you to do this thing with... Uh, you know, the, the capital, the capital area, area of Parkinson's Society, boy. That, yeah. yeah, like you said, that's the idea that the coming out party as you were. Yes. Because if the problem is, and, and this much I knew, I knew from the beginning, isolation is the problem with Parkinson's. W what goes around that and then how to solve that, those are all kind of the exploration things. But what I'm hearing so happily from you two and so many others is, you know, through this process, there is a growth that allows you the confidence to step out and to do not only for yourself, but recognize you have something to give to others. You have a real gift to give. And that in turn, I'm guessing, becomes kind of the fuel that, that fires you to yes. keep living well. And, and it happened this afternoon. It's so Martin's funny. I was literary. just thinking just, I was just know, the, thinking the, that. The two women who came over were... Yeah, a little like, why, why are we here? What are we going to do? And I think they just thought they were, they didn't know they were going to be playing games and being involved. And they were actually immediately very honest. One of them didn't like some things and was happy to tell us. And they were just different in different ways. Um, yeah. No, but even though they have no connection with Parkinson's, you know, they just the games that we played with them and the improv and having them um, do those exercises, you could see them changing in just the one hour that we were, you know. It, it was, we, we did a, a lot of follow-up questions after the games and it was just so dear to, to see the, the, the shift from, you, you, you could see before the game, there was sort of skeptical and kind of a little nervous and whatever. And, and then at the end, when we'd say, so did any of you get your name wrong or did, was it, well, you know, just this lightness came over and it was, it was just lovely. Um, Robert, you- for One sec, if you don't yeah. mind, because you sure. mentioned an important juxtaposition. When people start to play in the unknown, they're nervous about getting it wrong, right? Um, uh, and, and you immediately, by asking that question, you elicit the laughter that says, Oh wait, I actually did succeed, didn't I? I mean that—that's the gift, right there. It is. Oh, I did it right. Yes. Yep. It's like I held up a mirror and she could see herself laughing. It was just really sweet. It was. That's a beautiful was, vision what you just did right there. Perfect. <laughs> and I'm sorry for interrupting you. Please continue. Yep. Well, we we are almost up to five minutes. You had asked me a minute ago about my story. I probably can't share too much of it in half a minute. That's fine. We can hold on. <laughs> because that. it starts with how much I was fighting you at the beginning. And yeah. well, <laughs> I'd rather have a little more time to say and that. That's why, you know, and in truth, not that I don't want to hear it, but I do think we've covered that in other places. That okay. <laughs> what, what, I, what I'd say for now, because of the specialness of, and not that that's not special, but the, the opportunity here with Margo here as well, is talking about this group dynamic, right? Um, and, and what it means, you know, when people start to recognize their gift within a group. Uh, the typical person, in my experience, walking into a support group is pretty beaten down, is pretty scared, is pretty much, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. And to be on the other side of that, not that we're a support group, but the goal of a support group is to help heal and make you feel more whole and confident and competent. Um, 
that's really lovely seeing what you guys just reflected talk about people transforming inside of an hour who didn't yes. even have necessarily the same pushback of having parkinson's right because you no. know the the gift of parkinson's in one way is it it can force you into action saying well this is real i guess i better mm -hmm. do something mm -hmm. people who are you know not sick whatever that means exactly might think oh my my ordinary world is cool i can do nothing mm -hmm. and they don't recognize i think sometimes the um I guess the, the the problem of of sitting and uh, and doing nothing. <laughs> it sounds better than it is. All right, we'll come back. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Hang out. Thank you for watching the daily dose.